Greetings, fellow traveler. Uh, I wonder, well, this would be a part two about that bitterness piece. Be mindful of it. You have to, you have to realize and accept it in life. There are many people to find so much pleasure in tearing things down and not being at peace with self that they're agents of chaos. That's what the bitterness is. See, they will disguise it many different ways to slide it into your energy field. Don't buy into it. Don't buy into it. You have to allow them to have that for themselves. Rebuke it, if you will. Don't accept that energy. Because you can have the simplest moment of peace and pleasure. Somebody will quickly throw something into your energy field just to see you rattled. Just to see your moment of peace and clarity gone. It's an agent of chaos, excuse me. It's an agent of chaos, it's point blank period. Don't allow people to take your peace from you. No, continue to be who you are, stay strong on who you are. And when you see that that's a habit that somebody has, you must remove them. You must protect who you are at all times. And sometimes people don't even know any better, but it's not your job to teach them. It's your job to demonstrate in how you live your life and how you maneuver the way that you maneuver your reality. It's a slight difference, but it has a major outcome as far as how you see your life moving forward. Bitterness is, uh, ooh, it's a silent killer. It's a silent killer. It can, it can appear in so many different ways, as I said before, but once again, do not get caught up in defending those who are bitter. Do not get caught up in protecting those who are bitter. You must protect yourself. You must take care of who you are, your reality, your experience. Some people will never get it. It's not for you to figure out. It's not for you to it's not for you to remove and take responsibility for others and their actions. No, when they want to change, they will be the change. Until then, you can only take care of who? Numero uno. Maneuver that way. Don't let anybody else tell you anything differently. Because the ones that are telling you to do differently and to worry about them, those are the ones who will not worry about themselves. Just think about that. They don't want to be accountable for themselves, so they want to make you feel guilty for not being accountable for them. In what world does that make sense? I had a person tell me this before. They were well, probably they were 20 years my senior. They told me, hey, this is what I do. This is how I talk. This is how I communicate. And if you ever have a problem with it, tell me there's something I said bother you. Now, on the surface level, that seems okay. But in the context of the discussion that we were having, we were having a discussion about how they can say random things that are disrespectful. And they were telling me in so many words, it's on me to check them in their mouth because they don't have a filter. As a grown adult, how do you not have a filter on your own mouth? You're telling me that you are choosing to not be responsible for your mouth. But you're putting it on me to check you when you get out of line. Well, I want to be around people I got to check. It's like being around a bunch of children. If I want to be around children, I'll go around children. If I'm dealing with an adult, I will not hold myself accountable for keeping somebody else's mouth in line. Now, if they cross me a certain way, okay, then it must be talked about. But if you set an expectation that I have to keep you in check every time you get out of line because you don't choose to filter your mouth, you're going to keep that. Because you got bitterness in you and you want me to accept that in my life so you feel better about yourself. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. I share these things to simply say, protect who you are. Stay true to you. And don't worry about the rest. God got you. Until next time, be blessed. And don't forget, smile.